Howdy, I'm Jovan Branjo and today I'd like to explain the need for our product, the AeroCheck. Uh, in the United States, the oil and gas industry is pretty big. There's thousands of miles of natural gas pipelines and over the years, the gas leaks that have been caused due to failures in the pipelines have been a major pollutant and often even led to hundreds of deaths of uh, the workers in, this in, in these industries and there is a need to ensure that these leaks are found and documented as soon as possible. So we essentially created a, a device that would be able to uh, communicate over long distances and relay back the concentration. So our hardware here is we have chosen to go with an Arduino Nano and four gas sensors, the MQ2, MQ6, MQ7 and MQ135. Uh, they are all uploading data in real time via the COM3 serial port and that will transmit the gas data to the website. So moving on to the website. Howdy, my name is Siddharth and I'm going to show you the software side of our project, AeroCheck. So first off, we have a login screen where you can log in with your username and it takes you to the home page where you'll see the current gas levels, which are the normal gas levels. But if we add the acetone to the sensors, you can see how the gas levels of multi-gas and smoke and vapor are increasing. It is because um, the sensors are detecting the acetone level change and it is transmitting real-time live data to the website and then up, the website's updating the graphs and the values um, for the users to like see the values. This, as you can see, this, pro uh, this product is a prototype and it's basically in just an Arduino and a breadboard. But in the future, we'd also like to integrate wireless transmission capabilities. Uh, we tried to do that, but with the current technologies, or with the current like hardware we had, it was just very hard and difficult to do, and we just couldn't get data to be pinged fast and as reliable. But we do plan on making it wireless, and that's our big thing, because we want the data to be able to go to a website so that someone can just look at that data, and they won't have to actually go onto the site endangering themselves to these dangerous gases. Thank you.